Um, but today what I wanted to talk to you about, it's not necessarily a, like a tip piece or a step by step piece, anything like that. It's um, more about um, a topic and how you could potentially reframe it to help you um, help you be better, help you to do to, to do more things in less time. And actually the word that I want to talk about today is productivity. Um, and when I mention that um, the jobs that I do that I help people slow down, simplify their lives and part of that includes them being better with their time so they can free up more of it, I would say nine times out of ten people respond with, all right, so you cover productivity, which I suppose, yes, in essence, it, it kind of is productivity, um, but I just don't like the word productivity because it's got such a way of bringing up different thoughts and feelings that can be quite negative, like overload, busyness um, and anxiety that can come along with it. And I think that maybe it's more from my background. Um, I came from corporate um, and productivity was always kind of drilled in here because they wanted more out of you and it wasn't a case of being productive to um, to create more time for yourself it was more about be productive because they want more output from you like feeling drain you of your energy to get more out of you and get the money's worth basically and I think that's where that um, connection for me comes from but I know that it, it, it has that kind of negative connotation with a lot of people because they hear the word productivity and they think things like um, oh no I'm going to be busy all the time I'm going to have no downtime I'm going to have to schedule my entire life um, there'll be routines I can't stick to um, there's a lot of should do this should do that and I need to do things in a certain way and perhaps you might feel guilty about wasting time and that's something I used to do a lot of like I'm much better at it now but when I first came out of corporate if I wasn't doing something all the time it would make me feel anxious I would be sitting there feeling really um, tight chested and like I need to be doing something I can't just be sitting here and doing nothing um, and that some of these thoughts might um, seem familiar to you I'd love to hear when I say the word productivity what words come up um, for you and some of those things I've just said might be uh, might be covering it um, but what I wanted to talk about today is more about as for me as someone who runs three businesses as well as my home my family I've got two young daughters um, a husband which uh, <laughs> you could class as a third child I suppose um, and <laughs> three animals as well um productivity is part of my daily routine it's what gets me through things so i see productivity a little bit differently to what i used to um and to me now it means much more about me choosing how to spend my time rather than um letting the world the circumstances around me determine how i need to spend my time and yes, obviously that there are things that are out of our control and things you can't anticipate. I mean, we've just been through a, well, still going through a very up and down um, 18 months um, and so, of something that we couldn't anticipate. So there's obviously things in life that come along and, and throw stuff at us that we need to, to tend with to tend to sorry but by being much more intentional with your time you've got a lot more space and energy to handle it when things go wrong so productivity is more about me managing my energy managing my time better um, it also means that I'm able to just take time out and do nothing without feeling guilty about it like there's nothing I love more to do at the moment <laughs> in life than just relaxing and choosing to just be and choosing to be just still and not necessarily having to go through a to-do list of, of loads of things every day it's about feeling in control of how my days go as well I remember 
constantly feeling as though I was fighting fires, that there were things I needed to do here, left, right and centre. Whereas now I'm very much just in control of how things go and I'm able to pace myself. I'm able to be more present with my family. I'm able to have downtime, not feel guilty about it, be with my family, be present with them rather than worrying about things that need to be done or getting done. Um, and it's all about swapping that feeling of you always feeling that you're doing the wrong thing because you should be doing this other thing for knowing that you're doing exactly what you need to be doing at that moment of time. Um, and that's just a really kind of peaceful way to look at it. So instead of having this kind of anxiety about the word productivity and thinking that I need to be producing more and doing more and being more, for me it's actually about doing the things that are necessary and, and getting more of that done in less time so that the remainder of my time can be more about what I want to do with it. Um, and actually what it means is that I have more time off um, than if I didn't focus on productivity. So for me it's kind of got the opposite um, the, the opposite effect on me now than it would have done say six years ago. Um, productivity was all about when you were going to your yeah, work reviews and they talk about how much you're producing and your output and it would fill me so much of anxiety and feeling useless um, and just feeling like I wasn't good enough to now where I know that it's more about me making my life better and doing things that need to be done in day-to-day -day life which we all have <clears throat> whether that be things around the home things in your job um, just things that need to be done for the children getting more of that done in less time so you can have more me time more mummy and daughter time mummy and son time more husband and wife time um so today i just really wanted to to cover that and if the word productivity has that feeling of anxiety for you where you you've got this constant strive for perfection or unrealistic expectations and you feel like you've got to be constantly working all day long whether or not we actively intend it to feel like that as I say I never kind of forced myself into those thoughts it was more that <clears throat> my background and my experience um, in life led me to that belief um, it wasn't something that I actively made myself think it was the circumstances around my life that did that it's radiating negativity and with that negativity you feel anxiety you feel shame um, and that usually ends up being forming itself into procrastination because you don't want to do things because you're scared of entering that feeling of feeling shameful about not getting enough done or um, as much done as you wanted and essentially what it comes down to is we're trying to be perfect in an unperfect world perfection is unattainable um, and we're expecting something from ourselves that actually we can't necessarily authentically achieve we can't be on the go 100 percent of the time uh, well we could but that's not particularly healthy and it wouldn't make me particularly happy either but you can't last like that it, it's about being present and being able to do the things that you need to do within keeping yourself healthy and happy and moving forward. So instead of thinking about productivity as being um, busy all day and everything being perfect and in its place and having a perfect life, an insta-worthy life and having a, a perfect home, think of it more as in getting more done in less time so you're more time rich that's essentially how I feel like it and you can use that time where you're more time rich to do whatever you want to focus on whatever you want to do having that life by design which is um, a great phrase for it and that simple reframe is going to really help you get rid of that shame get rid of that guilt because let's be honest, we've got no reason to feel guilty. We're putting the pressure on ourselves to do this, um, to do a level of work that perhaps isn't necessary. Um, so just reframe that word in your mind 
and because you'll then kind of criticize yourself less you're going to feel happier within yourself as well and you'll be able to be actually getting as I say more done in less time so just trust your instinct trust your your gut trust um just respect your your needs and and what you um need to do for your um your health and in your happiness and just stop wasting time on all these negative connotations of words that just words we attach the meaning onto them and we can reframe the meaning at any point but we need to yes it can be hard because it can be a lifetime of believing that this word means one particular thing when actually when you look at it it can reframe it to be the exact opposite and get more out of it um so yeah i hope that was helpful i just really wanted to cover that word because i think in the context of my work the word productivity comes up a lot because one of the biggest frustrations for people is that they're time poor um and i may mention the word productivity um and sometimes people's reaction can be like oh and you'll see them physically recoil or they'll start to um start to say things that you know they're bringing up these these negative thoughts and I don't want it that word to to have this negative connotation I want it to have this positive spin where we know yes it's just a word and it means that we can get more stuff in less more stuff done in less time so we can have a life that we can choose and what we choose to do with our time is based purely on us and not the external environment as i say yes things do do happen um but we have a huge amount of um ability to to choose how things go and it's about taking taking that ownership um, and a great way of doing that is um, increasing your productivity and getting more stuff done in less time so that you can then choose wisely and do the right thing rather than running around doing all the things for everybody um, so yeah I'd love to hear what your thoughts are about the word productivity if you get negative feelings with it or positive in fact I'd love to hear them in the comments um, let me know if you've got any comments or questions about what I've talked about as well um, and yeah I will see you during the week I hope you have a lovely week it's actually my little girls last week in their current year because their school is like a little phase phase up to the next year at the end of the school year rather than at the beginning um, so yeah it's the last week so they're a bit sad this morning that being their last Monday in their current year group um, so yeah we're going to have some emotional children this week um, so I'm going to concentrate a lot on them and making them feel um, excited about their new uh, their new uh, adventure coming up so I hope you have a lovely week and I will speak to you later on bye